Hello everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video and we are very very lucky once again to be honored with the presence of Max JK0. How is it going, Max? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, everything's pretty good over here. We got a lot of news with Sanctuary. Let's get All into right. it. All right, I look forward to it. We're definitely going to get into it right now. <laughs> so, what happened with Sanctuary's development in October? All right, so we have a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, the biggest thing is that we want to do a live demonstration with Guilecast, and so that's shifted some of our focus to the features that will be needed for that demonstration. And then we've got some new things, including a new map editor update, lore, debug tools, and some graphics updates. That sounds awesome. Man, that's going to be awesome for Guilecast. So tell us about the showcase on Guilecast. Yeah, we want to show that the netcode works and everything. And so we've shifted to things specifically for the gameplay can be in place so that we can at least show off a little bit of that in practice. So like some things were delayed, like the IK and stuff like that. But we will be everything that we're working on is still going to go into the final game. So it's going well. Okay, so be sure to be subscribed to Guile in order to see that. So, how are the audio and visual effects going? Yeah, we have our systems for the audio and the VFX in place, but the audio that we're currently using is not final. Uh, we're looking into purchasing some professional audio effects. Uh, we're taking suggestions on that. So, if you would like to let us know, check us out on our Discord. If you have an audio guy or a you know specific audio effects pack in mind, you know, let us know. We're taking suggestions. All right. So, you all listening to that? Be sure to email them, get on the Discord, and hit them up if you have any suggestions because they are open to that. So, we talked about a map editor last month. Any updates on that? Map editor version 6 is out and map editor version 7 is coming close to being finished. A, and then we also have a generous volunteer, Extraneous Toe, is working on map gen. Map gen. Wow. Yes. So, I don't know how much on that I'm allowed to say at the moment. So yeah. Well, I guess you're going to have to be part of the Sanctuary Discord to get more updates on that, huh? Yep. Definitely, definitely cool. How is Sanctuary's lore going? Uh, so the lore lords are working hard at coming up with some of our background story and all that for the game. Uh, and they're also communicating what they've got for the devs so that we can see about getting what needs to be in now in and uh, what we have on the way can have, you know, we can leave room for what needs to come in later. What did you call them? The lore lords. That's what they're <laughs> called on the Discord. <laughs> that is amazing. So they're in charge, you know, that they, they, what they say is final, probably, usually, not all the time. <laughs> probably sort of kind of. They're, they're lords, but I wouldn't yeah. mess with them. I w okay. All right. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble with the lore lords. I don't want to be written in as a uh, character who gets his butt kicked. So exactly. Yeah. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> All right. So what happened with the UI this month? We've got our first real pass of the UI. It's not final, but it is good looking and functional. And I can't wait to see how this uh, turns out because it, it's looking good so far. Okay. I look forward to that as well. All right. A good, clean UI is super important in an RTS. Always. How is the unit development going? We've got more modeling and texturing on the units. It's more of the same. You can check out our Discord. We post units as they're being developed in the Arch channel every other day around that. And you might be able to catch some developers streaming their progress uh, as they work. Okay. So y'all got to be part of the Sanctuary Discord. I've been telling you month after month about this. So if you aren't part of the Sanctuary Discord, what are you even doing with your life? You're, you're missing out. Yeah, you're missing out. Like, really, think about your life choices. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is there anything else that went on in Sanctuary's development in October? It's pretty much been that for the development side of things, but we have had, we are pleased to announce that we have more investors. This will push our Kickstarter back a little bit because we got more funding. That means the scope of the game will be a little bit bigger and we will have, you know, a much more polished product by the end of it. And I can't wait. Things are going very well in that regard. That is actually 
amazing news because a few months back, if you watched my first interview with Tatsu, he said that, you know, December was the month. They didn't know what type of game they were going to have in December, but now it's going to be a bigger scope and it's being pushed mm-hmm. back. So this is nothing but great news, right? It, we, we have a lot more clear vision of what we want for the game. It's it, it, you know it's a big thing with a lot of games. You'll see feature creep as they get more money, but we actually have a pretty clear idea of what we want to do with all this and where we want the game to be by the time the Kickstarter hits and by the time it comes out and all that stuff. So we could expect a bigger game than what we were getting earlier we're we're looking for a more professional like final complete like experience yeah okay i am super excited for that like this is great news so thank you investors thank you for blessing us with a larger <laughs> game so um but that doesn't take us off the hook for the Kickstarter, right, guys? So when that Kickstarter hits, I'm investing in it definitely during the Kickstarter. So definitely keep an eye out for when that actually comes out sometime next year, right? Yeah, um, we're thinking second half of 2022. Okay. So I'm very interested in keeping my eye on that. So hopefully that, well, that's going to take a few months, but I am okay with that because it's going to be a more professional more developed experience. And Absolutely. Who could argue with that? I can't. Yeah. So that's that's game development for you, right, guys? <laughs> so, so I'm very interested in that. So is there anything else you'd like to say there, Max? That's about it. Just keep updated, uh, you know, watching these videos, uh, watching our videos on our channel, and subscribe to Mr. Steel here and also our personal YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. So be sure to subscribe to Guile, me, the Sanctuary Discord. And, you know, they were talking about all their socials, the Twitter, the Sanctuary Twitter, the Sanctuary Reddit, you know, and of course, the Sanctuary Discord. I talk about that every month. If you aren't involved in that, I've already told you, I already berated you for <laughs> not being part of it. You, you don't need any more of that in your life. Just just click the link and get involved, okay? So, yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for coming on, Max. It was really great having you. Thank you for having me. It's been great being here. (laughs) Absolutely. We're so happy to hear about this information. So anyhow, guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and, you know, share with your friends, family, and foes because you need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G.